Welcome to Loomly. In this video, you will learn how to collaborate with your team within Loomly. You can invite collaborators to Loomly from each of your calendars by clicking on the Invite Collaborators option located in the drop-down menu on the right-hand side of your toolbar. You can also invite collaborators directly from the Collaborators tab of your calendar settings. Each collaborator you invite will receive an email invitation prompting them to join your calendar, either by creating an account or simply by logging in if they already have one. When you invite a collaborator to join a calendar, you can assign a role to them. Loomly comes with four default roles out of the box, editor, client, contributor, and viewer. You can learn more about each role in our FAQ section. Additionally, custom roles allow you to create tailor-made sets of permissions for each of your team members in a more granular and flexible way. Loomly offers three different workflow options which determine how a post is created from start to finish. The original workflow is ideal for larger teams when multiple people need to review and approve a post. The light workflow is best suited for smaller teams when one person needs to approve a post. The zero workflow is perfect for solo users when no one needs to approve a post. You can select a different workflow for each of your calendars. Depending on the workflow you select, a post can be in one of six states. A post in draft state means that it is not ready to be scheduled yet and will remain as a draft until moved out of draft state. Draft posts are not visible to users with a client role. A post that is pending approval requires approval from another collaborator. This post needs another set of eyes to approve it before moving forward. A post that requires extra work will be put in requires edit state. You and your collaborators can continue working on the post until it is ready to be approved and then move it to the pending approval state. After being reviewed and approved, a post moves into the approved state. From there, the post can be scheduled. A post must be in the scheduled state in order to be published on your social media channels. Once a post is published, it will move to the published state. This indicates that the process of publishing has been completed successfully and the post is live on your social media channels. To assign someone to a post, just select your collaborator's name in the Assign To drop-down menu available in List View and Post View. Once assigned, a collaborator is notified by email through a push notification on mobile or via Slack if you enabled the Slack integration feature. You can assign multiple collaborators to a post so they can all follow and take part in the approval and publishing process. If your team works in batches and you would rather let your collaborators know once an entire calendar is ready for review rather than assigning them individual posts, you can use the Notify a Collaborator feature. You can also communicate with your team through comments within Loomly from List View and Post View. If you want to leave a comment for a specific collaborator, simply at mention them, type your comment, and press enter. Your collaborator will be notified accordingly. The comment history, as well as the changed history of a post, is available for all collaborators so that everyone can remain on the same page all the time. If you want to keep a comment private from a user with a client role, you can make that comment private. Finally, if a comment deserves your team's attention, you can pin it to the top of your post history to make sure everyone sees it when they view the post. You can receive notifications through three channels in Loomly through email, push notification, and Slack notification. In your account settings, under the Notifications tab, you can set which actions trigger which type of notification for each of your calendars. And that's it. Thanks for watching this video. You are all set to start collaborating with your team in Loomly now. If you have any questions or suggestions, please contact our team, either through our chat or over email at contact at loomly.com.